enormous eyes on their wings. These false eyes comprise the butterfly's most effective defense mechanism. When the butterfly comes up against any danger, for instance a bird looking for something to eat, it spreads its wings and takes on the appearance of a giant creature. Here is a living example of this tactic. The butterfly on the tree is actually easy prey for the bird. However, the butterfly suddenly spreads wide its wings. The two enormous eyes that appear spell danger to the bird, which swiftly departs. Let us pay careful attention to the perfection of the eye design on the butterfly. Every detail has been reproduced, from its shape, the nose and lashes under the eye, to the pupil, and even the way the pupil reflects the light. On another butterfly's wings, the image of a large creature has been placed with nose, ears, shadows over the eyes, the shape of the eyes, and the pupil and the way it reflects light. There is another very important detail in this camouflage. Butterflies' worst enemies are carnivorous insects such as dragonflies and small birds that feed on insects. And these creatures' greatest enemies are owls. And herein lies an important miracle, because the image on the butterfly's backs is in general a picture of an owl. In other words, the butterfly protects itself by imitating its enemy's enemy because all small birds and insects are afraid of owls. However, of course the butterfly does not know that owls are its enemy's enemies. Even if it did, it could not draw an owl on its own back. In any case, it lacks the intellect to carry out such a plan. And yet, there is a picture. This is most definitely not a coincidence. It was most certainly created for a particular purpose. To whom does the design of the butterfly's wings belong? Such a design could not come about by chance as evolutionists maintain. Every design points to a designer, and the design on the butterfly's wings reveals to us the art of Allah's creation. In one verse in the Quran, Allah says, He is Allah, the creator, the maker, the giver of form. To him belong the most beautiful names. Everything in the heavens and earth glorifies him. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. As well as their false eyes, other techniques of butterflies' camouflage are most surprising. It is as if the camouflaged butterflies see the colors of the bush and analyze them, after which they effectively reproduce the colors within their own bodies and thus blend in with the bush. However, 
It is of course impossible for a butterfly to do all these things. This design on the butterflies is clear evidence of creation. Another master of camouflage is this bird called the patu, which lives in the forests of Venezuela. Its feathers and the bark of the branch on which it lands have been created with an extraordinary resemblance to each other. Let us now pay special attention. You are looking at the tree's bark and the bird's feathers together on the screen. There is a perfect resemblance between the tree on the left and the bird on the right. The only things that could give the bird away are its beak and eyes. However, the bird knows just how to use the design it carries and it begins acting as soon as danger approaches. It closes its eyes and beak and stretches its head forward. It is now indistinguishable from a piece of branch. There is another extraordinary piece of design here. Even when it closes its eyes, the bird can still see, thanks to special gaps in its eyelids. When the danger recedes, it relaxes again. So, who taught the bird to do this? Here we are again faced with the artistry of Allah who creates everything flawlessly and uniquely. There is no end to the techniques of camouflage Allah has given living things. Some use objects in their surroundings to conceal themselves. This small fish, for example, is trying to make a safe place for itself by emptying sand out of an oyster shell. And this octopus employs a very clever technique of camouflage. It first gathers mussels and then hides behind the shells, waiting for something to pass by, looking for food among the mussels. We shall shortly witness a surprising act by this crab. It carefully cuts the fronds from a plant that it chooses on the seabed. But what will it do with them? The answer is surprising. It hides itself. The crab arranges the fronds over itself and prepares a cloak of seaweed. It thus comes to possess a wonderful camouflage. Another crab carefully arranges branches it has cut over its shell. That enables it to hide itself easily among plants. Interestingly, the crab secretes a sticky liquid in order to keep the branches in place. In other words, the systems in the animal's body and its behavioral patterns have been created to match one another. This crab is cutting up a sponge. It might sound unlikely, but it is going to sew itself a suit of clothes from this sponge. Then it climbs inside the garment it has prepared. We need to stop and think for a moment here. The crab has never seen itself in a mirror. 